Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio X. Now I'm going to do a really quick video today on showing you how to change strings using these things here, which are vintage style tuners. So let's get to it. So what do I mean by vintage tuners? Well, vintage tuners are like this, which actually have a cut in the top of the tuner and a hole right the way down the middle for you to feed the string into first. Now, the more modern style of tuners are this one's over here on this Gretsch, and they have a hole that goes right through the middle of the shaft. Right, the first thing you need to do is, if you've got strings in your guitar, before you actually cut the strings, it's always a good idea just to wind off the tension on all of your strings. Now, some handy things to have if you're changing strings are these things, a string winder. Now this one here, which is a Planet Waves one, actually comes with a string cutter as well. So you don't need two tools, you only need one. So what we're gonna do today is just use this. I'm gonna wind off all of my strings. If you've got a trem on your guitar, this is gonna enable the trem to sit back on the body. So you're not gonna do any damage when you actually cut the strings. So next thing, cut the strings. So we can get rid of all these strings now, we don't need them. Now the great thing about using vintage style tuners, because the string actually goes into the tuning peg, they just pop straight out. So it's actually quite quick to, to change these. So what you'll notice, if you have a tremor on your guitar, sometimes this little string access at the back doesn't line up with the, the back of the tremolo when all the strings are taken off. So if you put your tremolo in, just push it forward and now all of these strings should just pop out. Take them all out. Right, the next thing we need to do is strings. Now I always end up buying these big bulk packs. Now these are packs of 25 and if you change guitar strings, we use guitar as much as I do because I do it for my job it's probably better off buying these things because they come with 25 sets. So it's a lot cheaper than buying single sets which look like that. So what I'm gonna do first of all, is just pick the thick string. And I'm gonna feed the thick string into the tremolo. So again, if you have a tremolo, just push it forward and push it through. Now what you'll notice when you hold this string up to the tuners, you'll see it's far too long. And what you get sometimes is some people are actually winding this whole thing around the tuner. And this affects the stability of the guitar, it affects the tuning of the guitar and the intonation of the guitar. So what you wanna do is to measure it up against the next two tuning pegs. So I've got my E string, I'm gonna leave my A string and I'm just gonna cut it just, just past my D string and just cut that and discard it. Right, the next thing we're gonna do, which is the important bit, is first of all, you feed that, you push it in as far as it will go into the tuning peg, because these vintage style tuners have a hole in the middle. Push that in, then we're gonna bend it around and twist it. So now I've got a full turn on that string. So I'm gonna get my string winder. and then just wind it up. Now, if you look at that, you'll see it's got three winds on it and that's about the maximum that you would want for the wound strings. So what I'll do, I'll just do the thinnest string as it's slightly different, as we haven't got the tuning pegs to measure against. So again, I'm gonna poke it through, pull it through. Now with this one, you see we haven't got the, the measurement of having the extra tuning pegs. So what I'm gonna do is just take three fingers, and cut it off about there. Now again, put it through the hole and wind it round. If you can get two or three winds on it before you start winding with the string winder, absolutely brilliant. Then find a string winder, put it underneath the string tree, if you've got one, and just wind it up. So when you've finished tuning your guitar, your strings should look like this, all nice and neat. Now, when you are winding the strings around the tuning pegs there, always make sure that you're winding beneath the last winding. After you've finished stringing your guitar, just give the strings a little pull. Finish tuning. And 
guitar should stay perfectly in tune. So I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. If you haven't liked and subscribed and you'd like to see more videos from the Studio Rats, click on that little bell button down there and you'll be notified of any future videos that come out from us. I'm Paul from Studio Rats and I'll see you next time. Cheers.